Being at the movies, you gotta go through all this bullshit. Bullshit. Come on, Johnny. Get up there on that stage, baby. And talk to me. Talk dirty to me. Da -da 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 -da. Ow! What the? Okay. I know we ain't gonna fit a no damn commercial. Responsibility. But it's been good for you. Yeah, it has. Yeah. How would I say it's been good to me? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it put me on the map, and I believe the first two seasons. Excuse me. In the first two seasons, I, I think Johnny there was a lot of good stuff going on. There were good, important messages. But I think that towards the third season, it started to get a little showboaty. You know what I mean? So it just it just got it just got it started to become false. It started to become like this action packed, you know, it's like a can of soup, you know, you just market it and send it out there. I'm not uh, in any way trying to say that that it's a bad show, but I'm just saying that I think after a while it becomes like not it's not what it started out to be. Now it's a product, you know what I mean? Do you think it's a product because of the ratings thing? I mean, do you think that Fox is being pushed into... It's because, it's like anything, it's a business, you know, it's a, it's a business. Are you glad, or are, well, are you satisfied in the way it put you on the map? I mean, you, you, you know, you, you came off that show, or you were coming off that show, this is kind of like a sex teen idol, or is that, are you pleased with that kind of an image that's been built around you now? Well... <sighs> Uh, not necessarily the sex symbol teen idol stuff. Um, that's not my goal, you know. I mean, if it happens in the interim, that's fine. It's it's nice. I'm glad people see me that way. I don't really see myself that way, but uh, I'm happy in the way to put me on the map. If if people got something from it, you know, I don't want to just be sort of a jester and like you know, throw chicken heads at people and have them be entertained, you know. But on the sense that the, the teen idol, I mean, now you walk down the street and people scream your name and want to see you and they want your autograph and you know, they want to see you and they want to autograph. Well, being recognizable is part of the territory, you know, it just comes with it. If you, when you, when you start out, become, you know, and you're an actor and you start doing things and stuff, you, you're not doing it because you want to be anonymous. Right? No. No, I understand that. But it's just something you have to deal with. You know, whether it's pleasant at times or unpleasant at times, it's just something that comes along with it. You gotta. But it's good. It's part of your job, right? You know? I mean, it's well, sexy. I don't necessarily say, "Well, I gotta yeah. feed my ego today, so I'm gonna run down the street and see if people recognize me." That's not. There's a lot of things that you know feed the ego. Crybaby's the kind of kid who is sort of, there's a lot of crybabies out there today, I think. There's a, he's the kind of guy who's always been judged by everyone, by the way he dresses, by the way he looks, by the way he acts. Uh, not the accepted, you know, look, so therefore he's a bad guy, or therefore he's, you know, dirty or something. This is the best vacation I could ever have. I would have done this movie for free had I known what it was going to be like. Had I known that it was going to be like a, a like a really strange dream. In film, you do two, maybe three pages a day. In television, you do ten to twelve. You know, it's and it's constant. It's just like quick. You got to get you know you got to get it out, get it out. It's product. It's fast food. Thank you for time, Mr. Danny.